the first video as part of Speed Week, starting off with an old school car from the old Gran Turismo, which could go upwards of 300 miles an hour in the old games pretty easily. In this game, not so much, but it can still reach 300. I've got my custom race set up here with an almost 1 to 1 power ratio. The Enzo is actually very, very quick in a straight line. It does have aero, stock aero, which you cannot adjust. And if you put the rear wing on it, it will increase the aero and slow it down a little bit. So I've left it bone stock, no body kit, no livery, no wheels, just the car at standby all by itself. So over here, as you can see, without nitrous, can reach 280 mile an hour. It can reach it on the flat by itself. But then obviously with nitrous it can get above 300 mile an hour pretty easily. So as part of speed week starting on the 18th of December going all the way to Christmas Eve. Every single day we're going to have a different top speed tune. We're going to mix it up a little bit with some of the cars. So some are going to have engine swaps. Some are not going to have engine swaps. This one is obviously available in Brand Central. But the problem is you do need a what's what they called you need an invite for them which are really frustrating to get but if you have an enzo already this might be an idea for you also no wide body on this i don't think it comes with a wide body so if you can see on the bottom left we've obviously got the sports hards instead of the racing tires i found out that the racing tires are probably an unnecessary expense if your car comes with sports or comforts so it can take the corner pretty comfortably at 270, 280 mile an hour. Slipstreaming the Chiron and the two Corvettes right there. And obviously I get, <laughs> I get wrecked by the AI, but this is the time I decide to use the nitrous and try and catch up with them. Some of the cars I have in this race, the AI seem to not be able to drive properly, which is really weird. But as you can see here, with a bit of slipstream and nitrous, it could get above 300 mile an hour pretty easily on this track. So, instead of starting off with the introduction in the garage, we'll start off with the video. Next, we'll go on to the tuning shop and then we'll go on to the actual setup. This is a pretty expensive car to upgrade, but it's also a pretty expensive car to purchase anyway. Um, it does come with a stage 5 weight so make sure you buy that if you don't have it yet don't worry about it titanium rods and pistons and high lift camshaft s with these parts with the s it will buy it will automatically purchase the normal part so with the bore up s it will buy the bore up with the high lift cams it will s it will buy the high lift cams previously so if you have ultimate parts unlocked make sure you buy these first always buy these first before you buy those it saves you spending a bunch of extra money for no reason so obviously yes so we got the titanium rods high lift cams and weight stage 5 from extreme we have all four of these mainly for this tune you want your nitrous you don't have to buy the rest of them if you don't want to but that's that then on racing you want your engine balance your polished ports racing air filter racing silencer racing exhaust manifold your brake pads you can buy any of these discs instead of the ceramics if you want brake balance controller installed but don't use fully customized suspension racing clutch and flywheel fully customizable racing transmission your racing softs and if you've purchased your stage 5 weight obviously these will be automatically purchased as well but if you're not stage 4 will be the highest you can get until you either unlock ultimate parts or win it in a roulette Semi racing, you want your racing crankshaft, fully customizable ECU, no turbos or superchargers on this, just pure NA, uh, fully customizable LSD, weight stage 3 and body rigidity, then bore up and your high lift cams, you've already bought the S version, so these will automatically be installed. If not, obviously buy these as well. High cam, high camshaft, high compression pistons as it's na so you want as much compression as possible for more power weight reduction stage two and power restrictor and ballast i purchased just in case i need to use it for something else and obviously from here weight reduction stage one 
and sports hard tires it comes with. So now we're going to go over to the setup and I'll show you what it's about. Right over to the setting sheet on tires, I put the sports hards that it comes with on the front and then racing softs on the back. Recently I've stopped putting the intermediates and wets on the front just because the lower grip tires have the same effect. But if you want to buy intermediates and wets, that's up to you. But it's an extra 30,000 you're spending on something you can do with a part that the car comes with already. So ride height adjustment you want as low as possible, 80 and 110. Anti-roll on 6, damping ratio I put on 30, front and back. Expansion on 40, 2.7 and 2.9 on natural frequency, negative camber and toe on 0. 60, 60, 30 for the diff. Uh, downforce is non-adjustable as you can see. ECU on 100, no ballast, no power restrictor, no ballast positioning. I always keep forgetting on my previous tunes to mention the nitrous, but you want your nitrous pegged all the way to the end for mac obviously maximum power and maximum top speed. There's all the parts installed if you wanted to have a look at that and pause it. And then we'll go over to the transmission, which I auto set to 450. And then put the following gears in. Uh, 2.995, 1.856 for second, for third, 1.290, for fourth, 0 0.945, fifth, 0 0.731, and sixth was 0 0.670, with a final drive of 4.1. So, obviously, final drive I didn't change. I just put make these I put these at an auto setting so that you don't have to worry about messing up a transmission flip. This should be the easy one of the easiest bass tunes you can have for this. And if you want to if you want more top speed, as I say, bring the gears to the left. If you want more acceleration, bring the gears to the right. Because as you can see, if you look on the right hand side of this bar, it's got 0 0.727 slash 498 kilometers an hour. And then all the way to the left is 0 0.335 slash 1080 kilometers an hour, which I don't think this Enzo is going to be reaching anytime soon. So that's a base setup for the Enzo. Obviously, some people will get theirs faster if they're willing to share it in the comments below. Obviously, share it. If not, whatever. Start off with this. Mess around with it and see how fast you can get. I've got this up to 307 no slipstream depending on the wind and certain conditions but I don't see how this can't go above 320 mile an hour in the slipstream. So I'll leave you to have fun with that. Obviously like, comment, subscribe, turn the post notifications on so you can know when I upload the videos. It's usually at 6 p.m. UK so I'll upload the videos then, obviously throughout Speed Week, I'll consistently upload at 6pm UK. Look forward to those tunes and I'll see you in the next video.